Are, yeah, now we're are recording. recording? I just want to start recording because then I you get have bloopers. bloopers. Yeah, oh, okay. we haven't been getting bloopers. But then you can use these bloopers to blackmail me and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Because it's Black Friday for Thanksgiving. Okay. Oh, yes, cool. dude. What are you getting for Black Friday? I am. Let's pro- introduce the show first. Then we'll go oh, okay. No, we should. Yeah, yeah. So what's up, dorks? Welcome to the studio. Wait, dorks? Oh, <laughs> Change it. Change it. Yeah, we're calling them Change dorks. Change up. <laughs> turn this Remix. Thing. There we go. <laughs> No, what's up, guys, uh, or dorks, or gals? Remix. Remix. <laughs> Welcome to the Studio Dork Podcast, episode 8. No? No, dog. What? It's episode 9. Episode 9. Yeah. No, is it? And technically, it's episode 10, because of the Martin interview, but it's Oh, okay. you got me all confused, because we did the Martin thing, that we're not even sure when that's going to come out and all that stuff now. Because right, that's tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow to them could be 10 weeks ago. Well, well anyway, so... Too bad. <laughs> So what's up, gals and girls and dorks? Welcome to the Studio Dork Podcast, episode 9. 10! <laughs> what? Just say 10. Okay, 10. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Gary, the dork. I'm just Gary. Mm-hmm. And also with me is Cameron. I mean, wait. Also yeah, with me it's is Cameron. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. You can introduce me. I'll just be like, hey. <laughs> We're the hosts of, you know, this podcast that you're about to listen to. And uh, get ready to listen to some interesting or even fascinating stuff. Maybe fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. Did you just dribble off me? Fantastical. Wait, not I don't know. Dribble. Let's just make a rebound. <laughs> yeah, dribble rebound. Stay <laughs> different. Right? Okay. American Idol it, American Idol it. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> That's all I got, dog. You need some smart water. <laughs> I don't use that. I don't drink that anymore. Oh, okay. No, it's too much, too much. Too, too much. much sugar? Yeah, too much sugar. Um, so what's been going on with you lately? Water. Water. It tastes good. It does. You're does, not going to edit it. does that. the body good. I might. I might edit it. You never know. I might edit it into another rap. You never know. I've been thinking about possibly. Wait, this is the part where you add the crickets. To the joke, right? You did that on my jokes on last podcast. I did it on my I own, too. I, like I did it on both. You only did that we on your own. We tag-teamed the joke that was <laughs> terrible, so we did crickets twice. You only did that on your own to cancel it out with mine, so oh, I wouldn't man. complain. Now I'm going to have to recut this, and then they're not gonna, they're going to recut that, and they're not going to hear the crickets now, because you're, <laughs> we're going to see that we argued about it. That's what's really going on here. So, yeah, what have you been up to? What have you been up to? Well, I've been doing some cool stuff, wrapping up the Academy site at my work. And then uh, Arthur Christmas came out, so I haven't seen it, but I've heard really good things. Is that doing good? I've heard really good things about it. I've heard that it's actually really good. I heard the first 20 minutes is, are amazing, but I haven't mm-hmm. had a chance to see it yet. So. But you didn't get to go to the screening, huh? Nah, they were full, so. but there might be a screening tomorrow, but we'll see how that works out, because there's other stuff, like other work stuff going on that might be fun, because tomorrow's a half day, because if you guys don't know, this is actually the day... Before the day before Thanksgiving. Gobble, gobble! Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, and this week recently, uh, today I actually had to deal with some really, really frustrating problem. I've never dealt really with video. A lot of video, like, aspect ratios are just, like, crazy. And mm-hmm. I had to do some, like, flash banners today that had video in them, and they were dynamic videos. Were the videos embedded in the banners, or were they, like, well, separate and the flash was calling for well, them? Well, that's the thing is, I'm not actually working on the flash part yet. I'm working on just comping it, and the client was being very, very frustrating about it because they want their video as big as possible but right. on like a banner that is like really tall but not wide it's really very very frustrating to do it and i had to keep talking to the video team and the video team kept coming to us with like well we got to recut the video and there's a helicopter because that's how we roll we actually yeah. have a hel- helipad up here they're we're just coming to pick us up after dude. we're so recording fun. in the hood today <laughs> No, there's... No, what are you talking about? We have a little pad on top, and we actually own a helicopter. Oh, okay. That's People f- are going to believe that. They don't know... That's Frederick. He's they're... coming to pick us up. No, that's... They're... He's coming in the dorkmobile, no? <laughs> well, that is our dorkmobile. See, it actually has a car, and we still can drive on the streets as well. I thought you control with an iPad. I don't understand. No, you can do that too, dude. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, with yeah, an yeah. iPad 2 or 1? Um... Only two. I think that we can't do it with you. So it's not compatible to the to the new iOS? Only if you have uh, Siri, and then she controls it for you. But she's not going <laughs> to... 
<laughs> so it's not gonna work if there's no internet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So I better say somewhere there's internet. That's all I'm saying. Um, but yeah, so that video thing, uh, I finally figured it out, but it was only comping. So now I have to go into the flashing next week, which will be interesting to do. Um, and then that got me thinking because I actually I worked on that all day, and then I had a couple of hours of extra time, and so. I came up with like a project, there's a guy that's sitting behind me that's designing a car game right now and it's all in like action script and stuff, and it's like a racing game for some property we're working on. On Flash? And uh, well the guy behind me is designing the 8-bit style and look of it, Oh, cool! and then the there's another developer that, he's a Flash developer and he's actually doing all the action script for it, and he already has an engine that he's built for it. Specifically for this particular Well he game? built it for another game that we did and he's just repurposing it with that artwork and he's going to change up the, the way the gameplay works. So I was talking to him about Action Script, and I, I, he, he gave me a book, or he gave me a resource, like on our servers, we have a bunch of books and stuff that they give, yeah. they buy for the, for the company, and one of them was an Action Script book, and I've seen the script book for a long time, and for some reason I was like, you know what, I'm going to spend two hours reading this book. So I read 57 pages of Fast this book. reader? Is it like two sentences on each page? No, dude, I was sitting there reading, and I read longer than uh, was it in, two was hours, it, but... Was it like a good read? It was actually really, really interesting. I can't think of the... I think it's like Riley's or something. It's the book with the animals on the front. So it's Action Script 3 because oh, we're, yeah. we're, we're actually just have, converting all have, of our stuff. I have a, a style sheet book or a CSS book, like an old school one from oh, maybe yeah? like eight or nine years ago. Yeah. And it, yeah, usually those are those are pretty good uh, books. Yeah, have so... Have uh, information. Ben's, uh, I, so what I was thinking about doing is I think I want to code something in Action Script. I'm just going to build something in my free time. So I think I might do something on the site where I detail every week. You want to be careful what you say now because I know, if I know, you say it, you're going to have to do it. But I, it's being recorded Because I, I think that the reason I want to do it this way is because if I have somebody accountable, if, if I feel accountable to somebody, then it's a little more like push. Because I've tried to do it before, but I've always tried to watch videos and I feel like it's like Now you have to out. do it because you promised it to the three people. So now I promised it to three people. Maybe four if the mom walked in again and that oh. other <laughs> Asian guy was walking down the street and heard it bumping <laughs> in her car or something. People were like, so what are they talking maybe about? Maybe five. <laughs> If you, uh, it's callback episode four or five, whatever. Yeah, whatever. yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna try and do that, and I'm gonna actually try to write a post maybe on the site and just kind of detail once every couple weeks. And on the podcast, I'll just give you guys an update. And nice. Whenever I get done with whatever I'm gonna be working on, I think I'm gonna start off and design a chat system just to see if I can do that. It's like an aim type system and just do, but not make it live. It's just gonna be me and like whoever else has it. But I'm gonna try to do something like that because I've heard that's a little bit simpler than like designing Yeah, game. start off start off with some simpler stuff so you can practice. Yeah. But you, you don't have too much experience doing like programming and developing, right? Exactly. So that's why I kind of want to get into it. And because my work right now is hiring tons of developers. They're hiring four developers. Wouldn't they right get now. mad at you if you like went for that job and got fired or like quit the other job to go to the other job? But you I would get upgraded. No, they would leave me as a designer, and then they would just have me do development work on the side. So, like, whenever there's time or something? Yeah, because right now, they're, all the our developers are slammed. Like, all of them are working through Thanksgiving, because they're just slammed. So, it's if you know any developers, email Studio Dork, and I'll let you know what's up. You're telling me or the, pe- or the people on our recording? I'm telling you, because you got a developer friend, right? Yeah. You might have a developer friend. I have a, couple, I have a couple of people I know, but... I think the people that I know, though, they, they were... They worked for, like, different companies, a few different companies, and they purposely left to start their own thing yeah, like some yeah. people that i know like especially i got really close to this to this uh, uh to a friend of mine who was like my client and became a pretty good yeah, friend yeah. of mine now and he's a developer and he wanted mm-hmm. to do like uh, he wanted to create apps yeah yeah and, and he mm-hmm. wanted to do his own thing and work work as a freelancer he liked yeah, yeah. it better so he purposely left uh, like a big company yeah that, but yeah i'll see i'll see no no up. i i to be honest with you i wasn't really telling you that to tell him i was just telling you if he knew any developer yeah. and i figured he didn't yeah, want to I because he's like ones. a Cause he's like he's got his own thing going, yeah. on, so that's totally cool. Um, but what, what have you been up to? <laughs> Working with my developer friend. Oh yeah, <laughs> actually yeah, a little bit. But besides that, uh, I've had a a unique situation. Normally, I like to design and do the whole process and do yeah. all that stuff myself from mm-hmm. scratch. But I had this client where they had templates that they already had, and they just wanted those templates modified and edited to become you know to a specific look and feel mm-hmm. what they want and. And that's cool and everything, but I kind of like... So it's already a design. I'm just modifying the design, so it's not really my own design. I don't like that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like stuff to be my own, like mm-hmm. almost like 100% my own. There are situations sometimes when, when I would work with a team and you know we combine ideas together, but this is like a whole made template that's already made. And, yeah. And basically taking that template and just modifying stuff, editing the picture and... You know, putting putting my own look and feel to it too, and then the template also I like to like when I'm do, doing any type of design, as I mm-hmm. mentioned to in uh, previous recordings, I usually like to keep things within the 960 grid. Yeah. 
So I keep everything within 960, so it mm-hmm. works on most browsers, pretty much, or on all browsers. Yeah, yeah. Um, with uh, resolution and wise, modern monitors and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. And this particular template wasn't mm-hmm. within a 960. It was older. It was like I don't know. It was like a thousand something pixels. It was more than necessary, so I had to modify that to make that work. And that's fine. I don't know. Mm-hmm. It's just I'm just mentioning it because it's a unique situation that mm-hmm. I haven't I haven't dealt with, and I was able to. Uh, <laughs> you figure it handle. out. Yeah, it's easier. It it could it's it really could be easier than doing your own stuff from scratch. But I like I like that whole process in creating something. It's a that's what I actually truly like is doing something from scratch like that. Yeah, yeah, totally. So that's something I had to deal with. And um, let's see what was the other thing. Um, as I mentioned with my developer, well, so what we're doing is he he was a client of mine. I did some work for him, mm-hmm. and we became closer. Like he's a pretty good he became a pretty good friend of mine. What do you think about that? What do you think about becoming like? cool with your with your clients like is there is there some kind of balance with that like i think that's cool i think it's just like if you have a coworker, you become friends with a coworker. i mean as long no, as you it's guys different this is different though because he was your client and you work for him and then you become cool i don't know there's some kind of i don't I think don't that's know. so bad as long yeah. as, as long as it's not a, like a, like as long as it's not like a negative situation where or you don't get too deep in like you can't get like all of a sudden he's like oh you want half my company i would be very 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 <laughs> wary of that and he might like Definitely, I think it's fine. As, yeah, as no, I as, agree. And as long as you're not dating him, too. <laughs> I know it's a guy. I'm just saying, in general, like, you know, yeah. it could be a female, so. Okay, and also, so I see what you're saying. Yeah. No, yeah, he, um, I agree with everything you just said. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to see your perspectives and what yeah. you thought about that. But, yeah, like, I think he's a really cool guy, and we have, um, you know, like, we, we, I don't, I don't really know too many developers, and I, yeah. and he's a developer, and I'm a designer, it's a good, mm-hmm. it's a good, um, combination, that we could do different things for different clients, so, like, right now, this is another, this is a friend of his that I'm doing the bike, there's, like, a bike website that I'm yeah, doing, we talked about we it, did, we talked show, about yeah, it a couple, yeah. like, maybe a couple of shows ago, and mm-hmm. I was in the logo process, yeah, and then finally, everything was approved, and all that stuff, and now I'm in the, in the web process, website. so now, we were concepting, that's what I was actually doing a few days ago, I met, met up with him in his mm-hmm. office, my developer friend, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. and we were just like, well, he has, a, he has this really, really cool board. That he, he, <laughs> this is really interesting. He bought this, he bought this big piece of glass mm-hmm. and attached it to to his wall in yeah. his in his uh in his office. Have you seen something like that? Yeah, yeah, they, I've seen it done. Uh, there's some laboratories and stuff that I've seen, yeah. like where they do it because they can, <laughs> they can see, so then both people can kind of just be like working and seeing it. Yeah. And it was just this glass, and it's on top of a wall. So when you're drawing on it, you mm-hmm. can see the shadows behind the thing. And I thought that was so. Like fascinating seeing something like that because yeah. I've seen like the like a board like you have a white board where you plant stuff and that's and that makes sense to have that but I've yeah. never seen like a glass thing and he's got like different color markers and all mm-hmm. that it was just it it's a little bit inspiring to use something like that and we, yeah totally so, yeah. so we were drawing up ideas of how we want to have the navigation mm-hmm. on the right side and we want to have a like a jQuery slideshow mm-hmm. and just like different and he's thinking about stuff from the programming side yeah and I'm thinking from the design side and we're yeah. pretty much agreeing on most of the stuff we're talking about and throwing ideas so you guys are basically beautiful minding it <laughs> well, yeah. or no not beautiful mind uh <laughs> um Good Will Hunting. I guess so. Remember where, like, they're, like, he walks up and he's, like, does part of the math problem and the other guy comes up and he's, like, finished it, yeah, and they <laughs> high five, like, that's what you guys are basically doing. It's, you're yeah. just, like, this is what it's going to look like. He's, like, this is how it's going to function. <laughs> Blam, high five. This is, this is basically going to be, this. so this this uh, uh, client of ours, he has, mm-hmm. um he's got a bike shop and he's going to be, um, he's it's like a like a retail store, and he's mm-hmm. he wants to have like an online presence as well. He's got yeah. something online right now, but I believe it's like a flash site. Oh, okay. Something not really just like kind of just like a whatever thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but now it's gonna be a, like a shopping cart, and he's using like a pre-built engine. Okay, like, so he's using an engine, but he's making his own shopping cart. This guy is really talented. My, okay. My, my developer. Oh, your developer. Okay. Yeah. His name is actually Mike, but yeah. Oh, now we're giving him names. What? We don't oh, give dude, people names. This is too much of a commitment. In case you I'm listens. gonna have to cut that out right there, man. <laughs> I don't know about that. I'm gonna have to bleep it. I'll bleep his name. It'd be so, so funny. So yeah, Mike, my developer yeah. friend, he um he's he's um pretty pretty knowledgeable mm-hmm. in the stuff that mm-hmm. I mentioned. He, so he what we thought what we thought was having there's like these different types of bikes. So we we're gonna mm-hmm. do like a five. I was gonna he's we're gonna take have pictures and there's gonna be five different silhouettes of the bike and when mm-hmm. when people roll over those silhouettes there's gonna be like a like yeah, a like a pop out and then from there you can click and go deeper there's gonna be like two or three different levels it's mm-hmm. like a whole thing that we planned planned out doing and it's but I, I like this I like doing this whole planning process yeah, and yeah. then everything goes mm-hmm. so smoothly when you're doing the design part yeah and totally. I started working on some parts of it already as far as the design oh cool yeah so that was exciting well that's good just man. the process and stuff 
Oh, that's awesome. So, uh, when can we expect to see anything about that bike? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so your mic friend is not very fast. Okay, no, my mic friend kidding. is fast. I'm the thing, kidding. the thing is, uh, the his friend who were, who were yeah, um he has to who were doing everything. stuff. He's got to approve stuff, and yeah. he it depends on him. Like the logo thing took like a month to do, and I had that had that mm -hmm. ready fairly fast. But he just had like little changes and mm -hmm. this and that, and he's busy with his own stuff. So yeah, this course. is something that might take a little while, and it's fine with these situations. I'm I'm okay with that. Well, definitely when you get done, definitely give us an update. Let us I know will. what's going on. I will. Yeah. I know I'll get an update, but them, you know, they want an them. update. Yeah, you can't just do that, like, tell listeners all this vague stuff and then never, like, <laughs> give them a payoff. It's like telling a it's, joke without a punchline. It's hard to be, like, serious and to be talking about design passionately and then to fit in humor at the same time. I could almost do just, like, either or. It's difficult. I don't well, know. We did it pretty well the past, like, nine episodes. I don't know if I was giving people too much, like, knowledgeable information, though. And those. It was just uh, a little random. You're you, dog. It's cool. <laughs> Me? Yeah, you're you. No, you're you. Take that. I know. That's even worse. Why is that worse? Because you're you. But I can't explain stuff. Because I can't explain stuff. That's the joke, guys. <laughs> no, making it's, it's fun of me. Be, it's going to cut out anyway. It's fine. No, you um, can leave that. That's going to be a blooper now. Um, yeah? Oh, guys, you know, sometimes, not always, but oh, sometimes... Yeah. At the end of our episodes, we Cameron, when he cuts them, he leaves these, like, bloopers and puts them in an interesting order and stuff. And it's, I don't know, it's pretty humorous yeah, to so me. Yeah, so listen to the end, like, you know, just, like, watch the thing. I mean, like, last 30 seconds are usually something, some type of little blooper, you know, like. Because we always record the beginning, and the beginning is always, like, ridiculous because we're setting up, getting ready <laughs> to record. So we're trying so. to get in the zone at that moment, and we usually make mistakes, and the mistakes are sometimes happy mistakes. and Yeah. And... And if and if there's crickets at the end, that means there were no bloopers and nothing really good to listen to. There's a couple episodes there like that. Right? I just threw crickets at the end because I couldn't think of any bloopers, so I was just like, crickets, that's all. I, I thought I was making a joke, so I don't know why there was crickets. The entire podcast <laughs> was a joke, that's why. The entire podcast. Hey, have um, you heard of this thing called iTunes Match? Yeah, actually, well, I mean, we heard about it in the Apple thing, but I haven't really delved into it. You got information on it? Just a little bit. All right, um, what's going on? So, Apple came out with this thing recently called Apple, called uh, iTunes Match. Yeah. And what happens, and a friend of mine mentioned it to me a couple of days ago. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm bringing it up. Like, he actually has a service. Neither of us, like, Cameron has Spotify, for example, and I don't yeah. have, I don't have Spotify. You pay, like, 10 bucks a month, right, for something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. And, um, so, neither of us have the iTunes Match uh, service, but... Another friend of mine has that service, and he was talking about it to me. He mentioned, so the service is uh, twenty four ninety nine mm -hmm. for the entire year, and I'm not sure if you need to get that for two years, because like on their website, it says twenty four ninety nine a year, and there's a little two by it. Like, check that out. Do you think that means for two years? I'm not sure. No, I think that, I think that might be a superscript or something. So, I don't know. It's a, so, oh, anyways, it's twenty four ninety nine yeah. for for a year, and what happens is the way that service works, Sorry, I might have pulled it, <laughs> it takes all your... Basically, all your music that you have on your, um, on your... Yeah, the two is for that. It's just a legal script, so they oh, don't okay. want to put it up there, so they put it down at the bottom. So. <laughs> I don't know if that, if that two, man, you have to get it for two years or no, something no, like no, that. No, 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 yeah. Like, a lot of contracts, like AT&T mm -hmm. and whatever, like, you have to get, like, a two-year contract, but... Yeah. Um, as a, so, as I was saying, um, this is twenty four ninety nine for, for a year, and it scans your... So, all your, all your stuff in your iTunes library, basically, the service scans all your, all your music, mm -hmm. and whatever music... It finds not everything is on there, but there's uh, 20 million songs on on the server, so yeah, it's yeah. pretty much most of them. Maybe like over 90 percent. Yeah, exactly. Chances are when it scans your stuff, mm -hmm. it's gonna be on there. So without totally. you having to sync all your stuff, it just automatically it's gonna be on the cloud, and it doesn't use the cloud. I don't believe it uses the cloud space, so it's like an, an additional thing. Mm -hmm. So I think by default or by for free, you get five gigs, right, with the cloud. I believe something. Yeah, like yeah, five gigs. Yeah, mine's but, been full since. Yeah, years, so. <laughs> baller. But yeah, so this thing doesn't uh this thing doesn't take off the cloud space, but it still uses on the cloud. And so say you have music like from your CD, you import yeah. it or whatever, mm -hmm. and the music is 128 um, kilobits or kilobytes yeah, yeah. or the quality. Yeah. So it scans all that, and whatever music you have, it 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 has it on the cloud for at 256 kilobytes. So it has a better quality yeah. automatically by default, like it does that. That's mm -hmm. pretty, that's pretty cool, right? That is really actually pretty awesome. And I remember uh, you're kind of like refreshing what mm -hmm. I heard on the Apple thing, and I think it's really cool because, I mean, it kind of promotes you to go buy albums, you know, and, and it also makes you where you're really, really set to iTunes, and you couldn't really leave iTunes, because if you left iTunes after that, like, say you, you got rid of your whole CD collection, but you had it on your computer, 
if you decide to go to Zune, I don't know who would do that, but <laughs> if you go to Zune, you know, I, I don't think you'd want the to iPod, now. The iPod killer Zune? Yeah, dude, totally, man. I remember <laughs> when they sold Halo versions of those. What up? <laughs> GameStop callback, what up? <laughs> so this and so this thing, so you don't have to sync your music. It automatically has it on the cloud, and you could listen to it, because my friend yeah. had it on his phone, mm -hmm. and I wanted to try it out so I could talk about it yeah. here. And it syncs. It, it doesn't sync. It just plays from the cloud, and it, it gets all the album covers. It's mm -hmm. like almost having everything just like on your phone pretty much. It's, and your and your um iPad. So it also it's basically like uh like how I get a podcast on, on, <coughs> my computer, and then I can get it on my phone. So on my phone, I just go and I look through my podcast, yeah. and it just automatically syncs yeah, to the know cloud. That's that. pretty awesome. Yeah, there's an app. There's an app for all your stuff that it does all that. And I don't know. I I mean, yeah, they did talk about yeah. it. The Apple thing. I think this. I think they created this thing as a um kind of as a fight against Spotify. Because Spotify, Steve Jobs. I I heard some stuff that he that, that he was like afraid. Of Spotify. It's a possibility. I mean, I think it's just because Spotify is really the first real service that's in the cloud completely with music. I don't think that anyone else has done that. And so he just... Something he, that's actually giving iTunes a competition. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And also, it's a way that where it's like iTunes are like, oh, we'll buy our songs for 99 cents. Spotify, it's like, well, you can just listen for free. We just give you ads, you know? So it's like, it's a totally different model. And to be honest with you, Spotify is kind of a better service in that sense just because... But the thing with that one, you have to pay the ten dollars unless you listen to it on your computer. I know, but what's ten dollars a month, and then you go on there and you spend forty dollars on like four albums right. or something, you know? I see it as I see it as. You gonna go Avatar on me here? Netflix. I oh, see Spotify yeah. as Netflix. Yeah, totally, music. totally. Avatar. What do you mean Avatar? <laughs> because you know, in Avatar, they're like, "I see you," and that's like means they want to like have fun together. In the woods. What? <laughs> you know, you, come on, did you see this that? This is a family show, bro. Oh, no. They have fun together. They There's want to go play on the listening. playground, man. There's people in school listening to our podcast. There's guys ignore Cameron. It's a little late. He gets nah, dude. like this sometimes. <laughs> so just ignore. <laughs> no, ignore just because I want to go into Avatar and have fun with the freaking cats and stuff, man. The blue cats. What's up with you and the blue man group? Crickets. I'm actually um pretty good with the blue man group. He's like my the uncle. whole group? The whole group, dude. No, I met your uncle. We should tell people about that. Uh, <laughs> we can. I mean, yeah, so uh, we went to... So at my work, we do these things where we do, like, game nights every once in a while. Yeah. And so Thursday, we've been making kind of, like, the official, like, game nights. We've been playing Settlers of Catan. So I invited Gary down to come and hang out and yeah. play. And uh, you had never played Settlers of Catan, I never right? played that game before. Yeah, it's pretty... So fun. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. So, um, just on the uncle topic, I took him around, and my uncle actually works at the same company I do. Yeah. He's just he's like a higher up exec or something. <laughs> yeah, so I got so we I, I introduced him, and it was kind of awkward because you. No. It was like, awkward when when I said this is my uncle, and then you were like, oh, I have one of those, and he was just like, he looked at you a little bit weird. Did like, he? Yeah, because you were, and then afterwards you were like, <laughs> but that's how I talk. That's your deal. That's your deal. And I was like, what the? <laughs> so. No. He, did I? I don't remember. No, we, no, never it, talked, we never talked about that. No, Wait, no, it's, it's totally fine. Dude. So you said, this is my uncle. And, oh, I said, I have an uncle, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I, I thought that was so awkward. I saw his face, and it was like it dropped, and it was just like, oh, okay. No, well, I don't yeah. think so. It was like a, it was like a showstopper. It ended, like, the entire conversation. Like, we could have just ended and walked out and been like, okay, that was awkward. I know. You kept trying to leave. You were like, well, see you later. And then oh, you because, kept asking different things. Because he's super busy, dude. Like, I could tell he was super busy. Yeah. And because the project he's working on, he's yeah. got to work through Thanksgiving for it. Well, so. he seemed like a cool guy. It was just my first time meeting him and stuff he seemed like a like a cool yeah guy. totally like yeah but <laughs> but yeah so settlers of Catan, we did that and um that game is like perfect for you man wow that game is so fun so fun at first we we're playing i was like eh, you know whatever something new mm -hmm. for, something different i'll meet a couple yeah. people i haven't met and hang out or whatever mm -hmm. and but then this game ended up being so fun so so fun like like i don't know it's kind of like it's like Risk. monopoly and like clue or something mixed in. I don't know how. how. Well, how we describe it here is we <laughs> describe it as Risk, Civilization, and uh, Monopoly. Those are like and the as three. a kid, as a kid, I played Magic: The Gathering, which is this other yeah. game. It's really similar to that. Seriously, it's like yeah. uh, it's like strategic, and you. Well, think that's why the guy that won our game, he was a developer, and that's yeah. all our developers do is they play Magic whenever they have the chance. So I mean. That was such a fun time in my life that I remember it was just so fun. Yeah. Just completely. I, I, I had Pokemon, dude. <laughs> and that's and that's from Magic. The guy that, yeah, that yeah, came I know. from Magic. I played Magic before I played Pokemon, but, you know, I didn't play as much as you were. You were like, Black oh, Lotus, Black Lotus. <laughs> I was so into it. I was so, like, I mean, I was going to tournaments. I was mm -hmm. doing all this stuff. And I don't know if it sounds 
like goofy or dorky or whatever, but it was just so fun. Your branding that was, was one of the funnest fun. times I remember actually in my life. Seriously, is that game? Well, that's good. When you man. just totally just zone out. You zone out more than you would with a movie. Plus, you were a kid, man. So it's like I played as an adult too. I I got out of it and I got back into it, and then I bought like somebody's sets on somebody's entire set on eBay when yeah. I got back when mm-hmm. I became an adult or something yeah. like in my twenties. Mm-hmm. But then I just like ah. Uh, yeah. I didn't, it was just like not it almost wasn't the same. But if I ever became like a millionaire or something like really successful financially, like You'd probably buy a bunch I of would, and I would get back into it because it just reminds me of such a good time. I still had a bunch of cars that I left. Um, I left like in my mom's garage and stuff. Well, that's cool. Maybe you have a black lotus in there. I don't think I have a black lotus, but I did. I do have some uh, some arena cards. So oh, too. fantastic! <laughs> I don't know what that means. No, I don't. It's okay. I'm but sorry. yeah, we don't need to go on the topic. But um, hey, have you seen the um the Muffets? The Muppets? Billboard? Oh, yeah, yeah, The ones with, like, their single faces and stuff like that? I yeah, haven't like, seen them lately. I, like, uh, the, new, the new movie coming out called The Muppets. It's coming out November 23rd, 2011. Yeah. yeah. What time is it? Is it 2011 still? Yeah, it's still, it's still 2011. <laughs> Call back, what up? <laughs> but, uh, so, their logo, it has, it says The Muppets, and there's, like, a, The is on top of the M, just the way it looks. You can yeah, see yeah, it. And it's got Mer- Kermit's body as the M, got, yeah, essentially. Yeah, and that... To me, that's a little bit distracting. Like, what I read is the M, Uppets. Yeah. <laughs> that's how I read it. And especially, like, maybe on a poster you could see it. Mm-hmm. And it's like, uh, okay, you read it on a poster, okay, it makes sense. But yeah. when you're, like, on a, bu- like, when I've seen these billboards, like, on buses, and I've seen them on billboards. Yeah. And on different places like mm-hmm. that, where you're just looking at it, like, real quick, and I don't read it at the, as the Muppets. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I read it as the, and then the M is, like, completely different. Yeah. And then I see Uppets. <laughs> I think this is a case where um, brand integrity comes into play. You that green is kind of you automatically see <coughs> Kermit. I yeah. think most people identify automatically as Kermit, and because that little collar thing, you know. So I think that's kind of the reason they could pull that off. But also, it's Disney. Disney does whatever the f they want, dude. I gotta beat the f, but it's cool. Um, <laughs> no, but also like um, I don't know. It's just the Muppets, man. So it's that, like everyone knows the Muppets. But if somebody doesn't, I don't know. So to me, it was a, like I don't know them too much. Maybe I'm a foreigner because of that or whatever. I mean, I watched some other stuff, but I didn't. To me, it was just. I don't know. I don't know if I like the Uppets, or at least if that could be greener or something. Connect more with the the Uppets and the M. I just. I think it also. I mean, not. I think it also has something to do because if you looked at some of the earlier marketing, they only used the M. Did they? Okay. I think there was points where they only used the M, but other than that, like I mean, it's. I guess I was trying to make a point, and my point makes no sense. Well, your point does make sense. Your point does make sense. It is a bit distracting. Now it's just, that now that it's M. Just... That M is a bit distracting, but I'm just saying that yeah. it's a part of brand integrity. It's like the target thing. Like they don't have to say target oh, all the yeah. time. You know the what I mean? Target thing that I rec- you even see the red. That particular yeah. red you recognize is like Target and Coca Cola. They have their own reds. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I mean, that's this is that type of case. I think so. You're not completely wrong. I purposely said that so I could fish for. Compliments. Oh, yeah? Yeah? Oh, okay. <laughs> or right. not compliments, but whatever. Well, I hate you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Um, well, did you hear? There's actually... I'm, I'm just pulling this up now because I heard this... Because today I played cards with some people, but they were talking. You know there's a new Netflix Just for Kids that just came no, out I today? Know that. I was just announced today. I have not read on this yet, but... It's basically all just... It looks like it's just all just cartoons. I haven't really heard much about it. It's probably like a Netflix, like regular, but it's... Res- it's, it's restricted, I yeah, think. Like yeah, like you wouldn't have so. you wouldn't have like um, movies like rated R movies, maybe not even PG thirteen movies or something. Yeah, and I'm psyched on it just because this screenshot I see shows Chopkick Panda. That sounds amazing. <laughs> I'm so ready for the Chopkick Panda, dude. Is that like a separate? Is it still part of the regular Netflix interface or is it different? We'll have to, we're, we're not sure how. It just I'm not sure. Out. I just pulled it up. That's and interesting. Like, yeah. I, I, I haven't even heard of that. That's cool. But yeah, it looks. I mean, it looks like it could be cool, and I'm psyched for Chopkick Ninja. So, or Panda. Sorry. <laughs> um... But I also want to talk to you about another thing. Um, so there, Sony is doing something that everyone's trying to do now. And uh, I just found out this the other day. I read it on a site. Uh, they're coming out with this thing called Ultraviolet. And it's cl- it's um, basically like, a, you know, like when you buy a Blu-ray. And on, in that Blu-ray, they have like a digital copy that you're sp- that's on a disc that you're supposed to like transfer or whatever. Or they give you like a code. To iTunes and stuff. Yeah. Well, now they've got their own service called Ultraviolet. And I don't know when it comes out, but what it basically is, is it's like a cloud service. So you pay, I don't know how much you pay, I think it's like 40 bucks or something, and you pay for it. And so when you buy the Blu-ray, right now they're only doing redeeming, so you end up like typing in the code, you redeem it, so you're going to get a digital copy that way. And I just, I thought it was interesting that everyone's doing this cloud thing and Sony's now hopping onto it with their Blu-ray stuff. And I just wanted, I wanted to get your perspective on what do you think about everyone trying to create their own service for cloud situation? Like everyone's trying to do it. What, when is it, I think, 
I when is it all going to merge into one? <laughs> well, I well, because we've had the conversation before that, like, the problem with, like, the App Store now is everybody wants their own app. And so, like, you, there's so many apps, like, you can't keep track of it. Like, all these magazines, they want their own app. But in reality, they would probably make more money if it was just one single newsstand and they just submitted their stuff to it. You there's, know, there's business reasons why they, why they're going these directions. Yeah, exactly. And I just want to know, like, do you think that it, it's a good move on Sony's part? Or do you think it's just another, like, money pit, essentially? It's just a- it could be good. We truly won't know until. Yeah, of but course. But it's, it's it sounds to me like a Google situations mm-hmm. where, like for example, what Google does is they just come out with as many millions of things as possible and just yeah. see what works and the things that work they keep it and things that mm-hmm. don't they just take it back. Yeah, yeah, of course. I so just, that's what they're. That's. For I feel like they're probably investing a ton of money into it though, especially because uh, now that means not only because there's printing costs of that little voucher, which sounds stupid, like oh it's just a little voucher, but yeah. there's millions of them. And then on top of that, then there's they've got to develop a whole fr- front end of the store, a whole server based things. Now the cloud thing, like that, was not cheap for Apple to do. Mm-hmm. Was to create their own uh, like cloud servers and stuff. So now they've got to go and get a these farm. Com- and these companies can can try all these things out and. and I know. I'm just I like just, Netflix. How much money they lost with the thing that they win and then. I back. know, but now they're coming back with Just for Kids, man. I'm I'm happy with <laughs> Chopkick Panda, man. I'm so psyched for that. Can you restrict our Netflix account just so I get Chopkick Panda? Because I really really want it. <laughs> But no, I think I just I just figured I'd ask you what I thought. We'll see. We'll see what it comes out, but we truly won't know until until it exists. That's true. We won't know. And I'm hoping it comes out before holiday season because I'd like to get a Blu-ray just with it in there just to try it out to see. But I just feel like all my digital stuff is so spread out over so much yeah, stuff. You, you just know? would like it all to be in one place. Yeah, right? man. Like I really wish like like the iTunes Spotify thing. Like what if Spotify and iTunes they would never do this? But what if Spotify and Apple somehow Bye. merged and then you could your Spotify account would also instead of getting you like free. Whatever, it would get you that $10 would get you, like, 10 free albums or something. Like, that's not as good, but it's still something and, and everything's in one single yeah. place, you know? I don't know, I just, I that's feel what like... actually Spotify tried to do, because, like, when you mm-hmm. sign up to Spotify, it, it takes your iTunes information and imports that. I'm pretty smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Extremely smart. Yeah. And then I heard, mm-hmm. now with the new people signing up to Spotify... You can't just go and sign up to Spotify. You can only do it through Facebook. I'm not positive about oh. this, but this is something I heard, which is, which a friend of mine that I talked to, he was actually pissed somewhere. off about that. Yeah. He didn't like that. He was like, I'm not going to sign up because, yeah, it was ridiculous. I don't want to, I don't know. It's like Facebook is going crazy with all my yeah, information, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's really smart to do that because you're yeah. advertising themselves on Facebook. And the way they, we ta- mm-hmm. I think we might have talked about this, they advertise it in real time. Yeah. Like if some like if you're playing something, I can see it on on we Facebook. We talked about it, but you cut yeah. it out. It's okay. I, we we cut it out because there was something. There was some reason oh, we decided to cut it out. Okay. But it's okay. It's cool. We'll just cut this part out and then they'll hear it. Let's cut everything out and just put crickets everywhere. Yeah. Wee 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 wee. <laughs> and then sound like crickets, but it works. Um, <laughs> yeah. But yeah. So that's basically. I just wanted to talk to you about the cloud. Because Google's got their music thing going on, and I'm in the beta for that now. I don't think it's beta actually anymore, but I haven't used it in so long. I saw a movie. So. What'd you see? <laughs> it was in Spanish. Oh yeah, that's not the name of it. <laughs> so it was Spanglish with uh, Adam Sandler. No, it was uh, the skin I live in. You weren't reading that at all. It's totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> but in Spanish, it's La Piel Que Habito. Original title. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that wasn't. That's the Spanish word. Original title. <laughs> No. Would it be like originale title because you just put an A at the end. No, so this past weekend, a couple of days ago, actually, mm-hmm. I wanted to see something different, something that, you know, something like maybe like a foreign movie, something like that. So I tried yeah. to check, mm-hmm. check and see like what's playing. And this movie, which has a seven point eight rating on um, IMBD. IMDb with a D. I've been cutting these podcasts, and you always put a B before you always do IMBD. IMDb. You said man. that so fast, like you knew I was gonna say the wrong thing. Because seriously, My like I, I hear you all the time, right? So. I am B D B. Oh my god, that was amazing. God, that was so amazing. Thank you. You are my witness. So if you thought that he was saying B before, now you know for sure. Alright, so now I made you felt bad enough. It's what is it? I am B D. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I did it on purpose, Jerry. <laughs> yeah, I, right? I know, okay, okay. Anyways, uh the website IMDB. Yeah, there you go. They yeah, totally fine. You just made somebody like super drunk now. <laughs> no, I do these sound effects sometimes, and Cameron used to cut them out, but now he leaves them to make I it leave sound more natural. I leave them in because we expl- it all sounds more natural, and also I decided it would be a fun drinking game. So if you're <laughs> drinking and you're of drinking age, then don't don't go and like do something crazy. He's and, talking about know. Red Bull guys. Yeah, yeah, definitely Red Bull. Go get <laughs> wings. Yeah, go get wings. Big, so big ones. This movie that I saw 
um, it was foreign and it was in Spanish and mm -hmm. it's, I believe it was filmed in Spain and it's starring Antonio Banderas okay. and uh, Alina Anaya, Anaya or something like that. Okay. Yeah. And she's attractive. She's an attractive actress that's in the movie. Oh, that's good. And yeah. uh, the movie was fascinating. I'm going to talk a little bit about the, what the movie was about. Can I spoil it for people a little bit? Oh, uh, yeah, we'll just say spoiler alert. Yeah, so spoiler alert. I'm going to so... talk about what the movie's about. I'm actually going to describe it a little bit, maybe. Because I don't know if a lot of people, especially our listeners, would even know about this movie. It's kind of a, like it wasn't really advertised. And... Yeah, and you had to go to like kind of a smaller theater. Yeah, it was right? a smaller, smaller theater, kind yeah. of local mm -hmm. in our hood. To... Yeah, it was in our hood, yeah. <laughs> what up? So this movie is about a doctor. He's a, he is like a plastic surgeon. Mm -hmm. And what happens is his he has a daughter. He's got a wife, and his wife got really badly burned. Okay. And in the movie, she she kills herself. So she kills herself in the movie. She jumps out the window. And then they also have a daughter, and the daughter, she's like crazy or something like that. Okay. There's some, some craziness with her that mm -hmm. goes on. There was a situation when there was like a party, and the daughter was hanging out at the party, and there's different people hanging out or whatever, and... Mm -hmm. He Anto Antonio Banderas, he, who plays um, her father, yeah. he's hanging out at the party too, but there's a situation where she gets like semi-raped by somebody. Okay. It's like she, she was with somebody, but then it wasn't like necessarily a rape, but it was like semi-rape because she's kind of a mental... She's got she's got issues herself. She's got okay. some some, um, some some brain issues. Really bring the show down, dog. I'm, Am just, I? I'm just kidding. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> Oh. That's where the crickets come in. Crickets. It's really bad joke, so. <laughs> so, so she gets raped and whatever, and then the guy takes off. He sees that she's crazy, like kind of acting like a little bit crazy and whatever. Mm -hmm. And the guy takes off on a motorcycle and leaves, and the father sees him leaving. And so he goes and finds his daughter, and that she was just raped, and whatever. And then, what ends up happening is the father tracks this guy down mm -hmm. and kidnaps him. Okay. And takes him like kind of keeps him hostage and feeds him and all this stuff. But then the the girl ends up killing herself. So. So one he raped. Okay. So later on, he she kills herself as well. She mm -hmm. kills, so she's dead now. His wife and his daughter are dead. Yeah. So then he takes this guy, kind of keeps him prisoner for like years, mm -hmm. and transforms. He transforms the guy into a girl, oh, okay. and does all this like crazy stuff. Like adds, like he takes pig parts, and I don't know. He does all these like experimental yeah, whatever, yeah. and just like he turned him into a perfect, like into a perfect girl who actually kind of looked like his daughter or like his wife. She looked mm -hmm. similar to the wife actually. What's the same actress? So he took the guy that raped. Uh -huh. Am I? Yeah, same. Uh, right. He took the guy that raped his daughter and turned into a girl. And turned him into a girl, and then had a relationship with that girl. I knew that was coming. But the worst thing was the yeah. So yeah, well, that's pretty crazy, man. Yeah, and then there's just that was kind of the twist of the movie. Yeah, so yeah. totally spoiler. The, the, I think. Yeah, it's a total spoiler. Yeah. But then I don't think people really would even know about this movie. It's that's it's true. In Spain so it's called The Skin I Live In. The Skin I Live In. Um, and it's actually a foreign film, so it's in Spanish. Yeah, but it's in Spanish. There's subtitles. So you got to read a little bit. Yeah. So. <laughs> Um, and it wasn't like, oh my gosh, this movie's so amazing. It wasn't like that. It was pretty cool. It was a little bit different. It reminded me of, um, did you just yawn? No, I've never yawned. No, I was talking you. to them. Oh, yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> We've used that joke before, Gary. <laughs> okay. I'm old, I forget. Yeah, so, like, uh, they, uh, he's nodding. This, so this movie, uh, was, what it, oh, I was saying what it reminded me of. It reminded me of, what's that one movie where the guy connects to three people? Oh, you're talking about uh, Human Centipede. Human Centipede. So it reminded me a little bit of that, even though yeah. it wasn't that crazy, and it wasn't like all these like crazy stuff yeah, that yeah. happens, so it reminded me of that. It's like a more tamer version, kind of. Okay, can I say what happens in the end? It's not a big deal, but... All right, well, total spoiler Total spoiler. Point, so the guy so. ends up finally escaping. Um, He kills... He kills... There's also like a nanny that took care of them. Yeah. And all that. He t ends up killing both of them, and he ends up escaping and finding his mom. It wasn't really like a crazy good ending, but that's what happens. And hmm. he's like, Mom, do you recognize me? Because he's a girl, and a really yeah. attractive girl, actually. Yeah. Like, completely all body parts and everything, he became a female. That's cool. And, yeah. So that was what I saw. Well, that's good, and man. Uh, it sounds pretty interesting. Uh, if you want to spoil it for me, I might go see it. I'm I think just, you, you would still I'm see sure. it, probably. Yeah, I will still see it. It's, it's, it looks like a really good movie. <laughs> uh... And it's only in theaters, right? Because it's in a couple it's a, of theaters. It's limited. It's limited. But by the release. time this comes out, it might not be in theaters. Remember? But you guys could check it out. Just Google it and stuff. It might, yeah, yeah, it might yeah. come to like Netflix soon or whatever. Don't torn it though. Yeah, don't. Yeah. Pay for your stuff. Yeah, pay for all your stuff. Yeah. And then like at the second. gym. What happened at the gym? I don't know if I could talk yet. I don't know. I don't. No, you're fine. Yeah. No dead air. Yeah, you're fine. Dude. Okay. Um, at the gym, I hurt my back a little bit. Oh yeah. What were you doing? I was working out. 
and the trainer, he had me like jumping up yeah. and down, and I think I overdid it. Uh-huh. So I stretched something, so now my back is a little bit messed up. Did I tell you this? I yeah, yeah, we talked about it a little bit because but we've been you've, been, you've been smelling a little bit weird. Oh, yeah. Cameron said I've been some... smelling like an old... Like an old person. Like a real old person. He makes fun of me that I'm an old person, but now I'm a real old person. Yeah, now you smell like him. <laughs> I can smell like I woke up in the morning, I walked out, and I was like, whoa. Yeah, so I used old people the... just Did you smell it in the morning a little bit? I did a little bit. It's cool. Uh, Not a big deal. That stuff is strong. So what I use, guys, is called Tiger Balm. It's like for athletes. It really warms, warms your um, like skin. You put it on your skin and it like goes inside your pores and just starts warming. It's what athletes. Yeah. What, what the, did I say that right now? No, no, you're right. You're right. You're <laughs> and right. in Russian, it's called Zvozdechka for for the no for the zero Russian listeners. Can oh, okay. <laughs> That's good. We might have one, dude. I know we have one. Uh, Eventually, we'll because we're gonna start pumping. Well, I I know stuff. for sure we have one in China, and then we also have one in Australia. And the only reason I know that is because I've been looking at stats a little yeah. bit. And yeah, cool. So, but um, did they listen to the whole show? I don't. You know, there are a lot of like they just start starts and stops. So right? That means we're that bad. They're like, what are they talking about? I don't like. I don't like. Like uh, what that was they? not a Chinese. No, no, <laughs> it was just some foreigner. It wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't making no offense to anybody. No offense. To, oh, he's turning it off. Oh, he turned it off. The guy listening. Oh yeah, yeah. He of got course offended. He did. But his grandma walked in. It's cool. What? Um, Abuelita. Yeah. So yeah, my back. Um, is the situation with it, and now it's getting a tiny bit better. Mm-hmm. And a, a good friend of mine recommended. Um, this particular, because I was like, hey, do you know a chiropractor or whatever? So you went to a chiropractor? I didn't, I didn't. Oh, okay. But he's like, no, you don't need a chiropractor, you need, those are the ones that put the needles, right? No, no, no. That's acupuncture. The, that's actually. I, I asked yeah. chiropractor acupuncture, I don't know, I get him confused. Yeah, yeah it's But cool. something like that I asked, and he said, no, you don't need that, you need a physical therapist. And it was really yeah. good when he gave me the number, and mm-hmm. I might hit him up, I'll see. But depending on how bad, because my back actually improved after yeah, yeah. I put the tiger bomb yesterday. Course. It felt like it improved. Well, that's good, Unless man. it's a mental thing, I don't know. Well, that's good. I mean, as long as, all right, have you, it, have you been working out? I I so. still have been working out, but a little bit less. I told the trainer okay. and stuff, so I've been doing like different things. Yeah. Um, but right. uh, it's been it's just like especially when I'm when I'm completely laying back and I'm mm-hmm. going up, then I feel that pain. And All right. Well. From the research that I did, because I googled, googled it. Oh man, so you web MD it? I web MD it. <laughs> it said that uh, as long as it's not the spine, it should be fine. There's like different levels yeah. of like depending on the muscle and uh, whatever. Like you can mm-hmm. you, if you tore something, you'd be serious. But if you just like like kind of stretch the muscle yeah. or did something. It, most likely it's not that serious, but I usually over exaggerate with stuff a little bit. That's just my personality. Eh. Oh, so you know, you're just sitting here and so like fully head to toe jacketed up, not naked anymore. What? People yeah. can't know this. Yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> that's really getting cut out. <laughs> yeah. Now it's not. Now that's the only thing the show's gonna be. It just starts off like that. <laughs> yeah. No, it's um, been pretty cold though in our in our uh, spot. So sometimes we'll turn on the heater, but when the, as soon as we turn off the heater, it gets pretty cold again. So I'm just yeah, I have my sweater and stuff. Yeah, and yeah Cameron yeah. usually has his gray shirt. He doesn't wear anything. Oh, it's freezing like negative ten degrees. Oh, just watch on my no, shirt. No, dude, my limit actually is forty degrees. Oh, it so like almost sounds crazy. Almost it's forty freezing. degrees. Yeah. What's freezing? It's like forty four. Thirty two. Thirty two. We argued about this thirty two, thirty three, but. 32. Correct. Oh, you were right? I'm pretty sure I'm correct, but you can look oh, it up. Oh, pretty you want. sure. Huh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Sound pretty confident. Because I don't want to say totally yes, because someone out there might be like, oh, no, it's Oh, so they matter, but when I say. No, it, because if you get one person on your side, then I'm completely barnacled. I was going to use another word, but I didn't want to. Don't so. use smart words instead of interesting with me. Well, <laughs> we, uh, talk, we talked earlier about like not using the word interesting too much, and we think we did a little bit better. We still said interesting more than. More than normal. More than... Yeah, uh, I, I But just, we did it less. We did it less. I went on, like, a podcast cutting marathon this last weekend. Cameron has been cutting a lot of podcasts. And so, when I was cutting them, there was a lot of things that we kind of repeated. Yeah. And I, and I noticed that, like, I'm actually, like, losing my mind. He brings up Breaking Bad, like, every episode, and then I come back and I ask him the same question, like, oh, is that relatable? Do you think that you'd actually be able to actually <laughs> cook it? And then we get into the feet topic because it cuts your hands off. It's like... So, as you can see, guys, we're not really trained for these podcast yeah. things, but we're doing our best. We're just here, you know, to hang out as your background noise, as Cameron said, and then hopefully yeah. there's some interesting information out of it. I hope I use interesting. <laughs> oh, yeah, interesting. Well, fascinating. Let's use fascinating. Um, I'll just and- cut that in. But we got in a little argument, huh, about a few different things, but we were able to solve some of that stuff. Yeah, it was, I don't think it really needs to be brought up. I mean, it was mostly about the website, the yeah. site, and then there no, was... It's, it's not, we don't have to things. tell them details, but yeah, um, it's it's normal, guys, like, if you if you work with somebody and about, like, really serious stuff, yeah. it's normal, it's it's normal to argue and debate and, and all that stuff. It's all, it's all uh, totally normal, you know, just the main thing is just to, um, to always, to, because as designers, what we are, we're not really designers we're problem solvers that's what we truly are so there's mm-hmm. always problems and everything and the the main thing to do is just figure out you know an intelligent way to solve problems whether yeah. it's you know 
putting a certain shade of color with another color so that color looks less than it normally yeah. should or whether it's real life stuff or whatever it's all it's all problem solving so yeah me and Cameron were, got in a little argument but we, we were able to resolve that yeah and I, I think that one of the reasons as designers we get in arguments because we both kind of know our ways of how we do stuff and I feel like as a designer you kind of have to have a little bit of an ego just because yeah so I said I have an ego and yeah. you know you have an ego yeah, we so we're have, good. we all have a little something only because um, <laughs> only because like think about it you're paid every single day to go to work and say, no, this is right, right? And you, you have people, you have to, obviously people have different, their different opinions and stuff, but your ego has to do with that. You wouldn't, I mean, like, you may know because you've learned stuff, but you have to know when you can stand up to a client. Like, if a client says, no, I want it this way, you have to be able to give them, like, another option and say, well, I, your option is cool, but this one I think is a little bit better. And that has something to do with your ego, I think, because you have to kind of have the sack to do that. The, no, I agree. You're right. Side. No, you're right. You want to protect. You want to protect your. You know what. What you're worth. It's your whole yeah, value. Exactly. So there's a certain opinion you have, and you feel strongly about mm -hmm. it. You're going to defend yourself because that's your value. Yeah, exactly. You're defending your value. So yeah. So I. So it's totally normal for designers to do that. And I always equate us. Have you ever seen the documentary? It's either Objectified or Helvetica. There's these two French guys, and they argue over something like a, a chair or something. And I just I always equate me and Gary to that all the time yeah. because that's what they did. They argued in that documentary. So. I just thought that was funny. But uh, next topic, awesome. Um, <laughs> no, yeah, but, you know, pe people can know them. We're not, you know, no, no, they're no, not being course. details and stuff, but no, it's, of course. it's normal. But if you don't hear this on the show, it's totally fine. It would be I'm weird if we were just like, oh, everything's perfect, and we're both agreeing yeah. 100% on everything. No, you know, something's yeah. going to... We're, we're, both, we're both really strong opinionated about stuff, and we, you know... We we always we always do in the end come mm -hmm. up come to a compromise. Always. We figure stuff out and everything. Other than, if it wasn't for that, then we wouldn't be recording this right now. It would have been over. Yeah, yeah, we wouldn't be recording. Studio Dork would have broken up. I'd have studio, you'd have dork. And Why uh, do you get studio? Because I'm a little more serious. I think. <laughs> Personally, I think I'm a little more serious. But maybe I'm a little more jokester. But I, from, I adjust to the environment. <laughs> from the reviews that I've been hearing is that you bring the comedy and I bring the serious. That's what, what I've been we hearing. We both bring different It's all right, though. Stuff. It's cool, man. I'm totally fine <laughs> if you want to be the clown and I'm totally the business No, man. I want to be... Just kidding, just kidding. I think just we kidding. should both be a mixture of everything. But yeah. Oh, of course, yeah. We're, we're Plus, hybrids. you got to be funny to be a clown. So... I yeah. Think. Um, what? We're 47 minutes and 27 seconds. It's not over yet. Um, I know that song. <laughs> I just wanted to talk about... Um, I really just want to talk about one more thing. I know we talked about the limited edition sketchbook project. Have yeah. You, have you signed up yet? I thought you said you are signing me up. That's my rebuttal. Oh no, my gosh. That's, that's No, I will sign up. Okay, because they're actually at time of recording on this one. They're at 1247, and I just found out the actual deadline is not December. I just want to give a, like, let people know. The deadline is actually April 30th. So it's okay. not as soon as I thought, but you still have like four months or something to do it. So, so I have, you I mean, you told me about it a week ago, so I still have a couple months, right? Yeah, so yeah, should... you still have a couple months, but I just, uh, since the last time that we recorded was 9.06 that they were at, and now they're up to 12.47, and now it's only 200 more. Does it right? have to be, okay, is there a certain limit? When it gets to a certain limit, they stop? Yeah, 5,000 is the most average. Because they can only fit a certain amount in the books. Okay. Yeah, so I'm No, I would, I would know. like to sign up um, to it. I have to, I'll add that in my little reminder. It's not like my top one of my top Yeah, yeah of thing. course. And you mentioned it, and I said I would, but then we kind of never talked about it anymore. No, I know, and I noticed it yesterday when I was looking at the site, because I was looking at the site, um, kind of getting some inspiration for yeah. my new sketchbook, so... I just figured I would bring it up in the show. Uh, there was something else I wanted to talk about, but I can't remember at, at this point. You winged, it, you winged it pretty good. Yeah, we did. I totally winged it because I got home like pretty late. Cameron so. got home a little bit late today. He was doing some stuff at work, and normally we prepare different things, and I had my stuff prepared. And yeah. Sometimes Cameron has a lot of different things prepared, and I have like one or two things, and we just kind of... Yeah, we just kind of went with it. We just kind know? of go with it, and then just, it just works. today was a little bit... It was opposite. Oh, you want to... Sorry, I didn't mean to cut yeah, it off. Yeah, it's all good. No, we cut going. each other off. That's how we roll. Yeah. It's chemistry, well, I, baby. I did, I did want one. It's <laughs> baby. Okay, well, that's cool. I just want to... I, I did want to ask you, what are you doing for um, Thanksgiving? Oh, it's yeah, like you're right. I was going to talk about... I was yeah. going to mention the Thanksgiving, too. Normally, what I've been doing for, for like, my last Thanksgiving... My last, like, 20 Thanksgivings, I usually don't do mm -hmm. too many because I'm... Uh, like, I'm, a, I'm Jewish and stuff. Yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah. But my friends, I usually hang out... My families usually don't do too many things for yeah. Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. but so I usually just go with my friends. I get invited by different friends, and I just mm -hmm. go with their family. That's what I've normally done. That's but cool. this year, I am actually going to be with like some of my family, so well, it's a little cool, bit man. it's a little bit unique situation uh, for me. I'm not used to that, mm -hmm. so we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Are they going to be cooking Russian food? No, it should be turkey, oh, um, okay. like normal like like turkey stuff. I think I'm not I'm not exactly positive. Oh, I'd be interested just to hear if you guys like went for like. Russian stuff? Just vodka on the table. Just vodka. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
And I'm sure there probably will be some vodka and stuff. But... Of course, yeah. And you're going, you're going back home. Huh? Yeah, I'm going back home. I'm going back to Vegas to go visit my parents. But uh, you got it. You have. You do you work on Friday. You're not sure yet. No, no, no. You wanna? I'm not. I got that cleared. That's and I good. Don't. Yeah. Because so... I think it's better for you to not to not work and to relax yeah, for a few yeah. days. Yeah, yeah. It's true. Especially, Especially. Yeah. I was gonna say because you've been doing all these. Like yeah, a bunch yeah. Of well, I well, it's in the action script project. I think I might do some action script at night while I'm there. And also, I still have to keep up with the studio dork. You know, I got to do the daily inspiration a little bit still. And so, like, that's why Thursday's gonna be crazy because I got to launch a bunch of stuff on Thursday. Are you gonna prepare some of the inspirations in advance, a couple of days? Um, or are you gonna take your laptop home with you? I'm gonna take my laptop, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'll do the inspirations. Uh, you know, I figure like if I can launch everything at least on Thanksgiving. Friday is Black Friday, and most of my family likes to go out and shop on Black Friday, so they get up super early and do that. Yeah. So I'll probably get some time to just be by myself and just do the daily trip. You hate for shopping, Friday. huh? I'm not a big fan of it. Yeah, because if I go to grocery stores and I trick you into coming with me, you're always like, oh, hurry up. Uh, I don't. There's something about it, I don't know. But, uh, and just like when. I mean, if we're going to be on the topic of that, you ever heard of trunkclub.com? No, but this is a family show. This is a family <laughs> show, and this is actually a family thing. Um, TrunkClub.com is actually like a men's uh, retail place, and you go in there, and uh, like most guys don't like to shop. Av- like the average guy, most of them don't like to like shop for clothes. I like, like shopping. Yeah, I know you do. That's why I said most guys, and I had to so reiterate. You're calling me a. I know. I know. I know, you, I know you said the most part because of me. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, it was all for you, all for you. Um, but yeah, so this what this place does is you basically you apply for like an application, you fill it all out, and you tell them kind of your style. They'll call you or email you, and they'll kind of figure it all out. <laughs> And then what they do is then they send you this trunk, and it's basically just like a box. And the box is full of 10 clothing items that they think works for you, and it's usually like one full outfit and a bunch of other stuff. And then you don't pay for anything unless you keep it. And so then they send it to you, you try it's it on. It's such a good you, idea. Why don't you tell me about that? I just found out about do it. Do they like, have it for people that are like 6'4"? Well, that's like the thing is th- everything is handpicked by designers, by like... Oh, it must be pretty expensive. Yeah, so they oh, do they do the use a little bit more expensive. Yeah, of course, but it's because it's meant for businessmen. It's meant for like the you know the, the business guy on the go. Stop looking at the clock, dog. Oh, it's almost midnight. We're like almost in tomorrow. But yeah, so I just I figured I'd mention that too because no, I've, I've, cool. I've been debating whether or not I want to do it because I don't want to like because I really hate shopping. But I've been like thinking maybe I should change my style up a little bit. Because you should I, try a few things. I might try something out, but I want to keep the fro and I want to keep. The gray shirts. <laughs> well, yeah, maybe the gray shirts, but you know, they're they're my they're my security blanket. So, um, I just figured I'd bring that up since we were on the topic. Nice. But... No, that's a that's a cool that's a cool uh, thing that probably a lot of people don't know about. Like I didn't know about that. Yeah, it's trumpclub.com. So, so yeah, if you guys want, if you guys have any questions or anything at all, uh, any questions at all, at all, or if you even just want to comment and just yell at us, tell us that we're stupid because we didn't figure something out or we said something wrong. That's totally fine too. We just any emails are fine. All you do is you type. With like capital letters, and we know you're yelling at us. Yeah, yeah. And if you like type in all got... lowercase letters, just whispering to us. Okay. <laughs> like I guess Cameron yelled at me earlier today on the text because. Yeah, I was like, oh, all caps. No, you put an exclamation thingy. What is it called? Did I put an exclamation mark? Hey, rem- can- cut out the part that when I didn't know what it was called. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally going to use that. I'm totally going to use that as a blooper. But I'm not going to, but they're not going to know. I'm just going to put it in there randomly and then they're going to hear it now. But, so, but, um, so Twitter, Facebook. So yeah, so if you have any questions or any concerns at all, or maybe you just want to like, uh, like berate us for not having something right, you know? Yeah, like knowing grammatical. Yeah, totally. Uh, you can go on to facebook.com slash studio dork. You can catch us there. You can also find us on Twitter at, uh, at Studio Dork, and you can find us on our site, uh, on our contact section of our site, but if you don't want to use the contact form, you can always just email us at studiodork at gmail.com, uh, and that's pretty much it, I believe, I mean... No, you're right, you believe right. Alright, well, I do believe uh, that we're done, so that's... Alright, homies, thank you for listening to us. <laughs> and stay dorky. Stay dorky. The ending is always Wait, did you say porky? I said dorky. Okay, stay dorky. Thanksgiving, so I don't know. Oh man! Whoa! Gobble gobble! <laughs> gobble, gobble, gobble. <laughs> I'm going hunting. Hey man, come on. Wait, but we're not we... killing no turkeys this year. What? No, I don't know. We're not gonna go. We're not gonna go.
get a Christmas tree? What does that have to There's do? There's a Christmas tree right down the street. We what? should go get one. We should go cut off a palm tree and put our own and decorate it. No, but there's actually a tree place right on that corner that's getting ready to be built. Wrong corner, bro. What? No, that is, that's the right corner. <laughs> Got enough bloopers yet? No, we need no bloopers. <laughs> so I was walking, 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 and I fell and tripped. Blooper. And then you were like, it's too dark in here. <laughs> What's so dark in here? He turned off all the lights and it got dark in here. Oh, okay. All right, anyways. I think that's beep. Enough, Beep. We don't need beeps, dude. I've already got all the freaking. Oh, you got the official noises. beep. I got the production noises. We're fine. All right, guys. But uh, seriously, uh, we do appreciate um, you guys for listening to us, and uh, we've gotten this far, and uh, we have uh, way more further to get to. We have to record another podcast after this. Like right after? Yeah, we got to record the ten minutes for the what's cracking stuff. Oh yeah. Wait. Are we, are we gonna do that? I kind of want to. We're recording this conversation right now. I know now. it's totally fun. I like recording everything. If we could have mics on us at all times, I would. Um, but you wouldn't like that. Hey, come on, man. I'm just saying, you wouldn't like So I guess we're pretty much done at that point, right? Dribble, Facebook, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah I know. I was going to go into that.